Hello YouTube and welcome to a random review. I've been a big fan of Spyderco's UK friendly folders for a long time now. Um, primarily the uh, UK PK with various scales. I just think it's just uh, such a perfect UK legal EDC carry knife. Um, the other very popular one from this range, it's another slip it. It's the Urban, which is uh, slightly smaller than the UK PK. Both are below the three inches blade length. And um, I've been quite happy with this lot, but there was one knife that I kept seeing pop up time and time again. And it was it's a knife which I felt was kind of flawed in its design. Um, and it was more considerably more expensive than these. And I'd, for a long time I'd put it off uh, actually buying it. It came, it was went out of stock on Heine Haynes for a while. It came back into stock. Um, and the only reason I bought it really is because I read so many people raving on about this knife, saying it's, it's so good, it, it feels that much better than the UK PK and the Urban. And I thought, I've just got to buy it and I've got to try it. And here is the knife. It is the um, Spyderco Little Native uh, Slip It. So these have been out for a fair few months now. The box is obviously smaller than the standard Spyderco box you'd get on the UK PK. And here's the knife. Before I forget, here's the, the T-Mag. This is just an absolute beast of a knife. It's not available anymore, but I'll do a full review on this soon. But I love that, uh, the T-Mag. But anyway, here, back to the slip it. So, here's the knife. Now, why was I, what was I concerned about before buying this knife? Well, the, the list price on this is more expensive. This is about 165 British pounds. Whereas the UK PK, you can get a standard one for about 80 pounds in total. Um, Size wise, it's more in line with a Urban. If you can see size wise, very similar to the Urban. Now, the main things I was concerned about before buying this was the pocket clip. As you can see, it's not a deep carry. And I really do enjoy using a deep carry pocket clip because I don't want people to see the knife poking out the top of the pocket. The other thing that uh, other people have pointed out as a gripe on this knife is all the additional holes in the scales so that you can move this poorly designed pocket clip to wherever you want. I've, some guys have even gone to the trouble of buying little screws and trying to fill these in just to cover those holes. It's a bit ugly. Why would they do that? And the thing is, everyone was saying that the knife just feels that much better quality and it's like a mini paramilitary three and all this kind of stuff. But I mean, I've been playing around with this on my desk and it, it's it's kind of OK, but I just can't see what the fuss is. What, what am I missing here? Why is this so much more important and special than the uh, UK PK in the Urban? I just don't get it. For example, on a UK PK, this, the design of these is just brilliant. And can you see on the spine here, it, there's no sharp edges, everything's smooth. And you, you can't really trap your, your skin or anything in this. It's just a brilliant design, you don't have to think about when you use it. But on, on this, it's just... This is razor sharp here, I don't know if you can see how, just how sharp the angle is. And the back spearing here, it's not like it even got superior fit and finish as far as I'm concerned. It's almost twice the price of a UK PK. And also, when you close this, you can quite easily like trap your skin in that. If you like, if you were like holding the knife and then it just um, broke the lock there, and then you wanted to close it again, it just pinches you like crazy. I just, I just don't get it, guys. Why, why is everyone raving on about this? Can I, if anyone's got this and the UK PK, can you explain why you like it? Why you think it's superior? Also, it doesn't have any jimping underneath here, so it just doesn't feel quite as secure in the hand. It's, it's just the first knife I've bought in ages where I've just not been all that <laughs> impressed by it. <laughs> and it's a, in the order of £160 for this knife. Why would you choose that instead of a UK PK? I just don't get it, guys. So I would appreciate if you guys wanted to leave a comment and just say why you carry yours and why you like your little native slip it 
Um, I'm going to give it more of a trial and just see how I get on with it. I'll try and keep it in my pocket for a while. Also, there's no half stop. I don't know if you can see that. I just, I just don't see where the money's gone on this knife. I don't see why it's that much more expensive. So if anyone's got one of these and can explain why they like it, maybe I can start to see some points. Um, but for now, that's pretty much where I am. Um, please do feel free to uh, comment on the videos as well, guys. I've noticed some of my uh, colleagues there on the knife community, they're um, getting way more comments than I am. So feel free to make any suggestions or comments or anything, and uh, I'll take a look at those as well. All right, cheers, guys. I'm going to try and record a couple more videos today, so keep an eye out for new videos coming. All right, thanks a lot. Catch you later.